Hey there, people. Your day is about to improve. You're watching Victoria Nights, a show where we talk about movies, TV shows, video games, and everything in between. I'm Kevin, joined by Andy and CJ, and today we're going to be talking about the Netflix show. Netflix, Netflix. The Netflix. That's the right. Netflix. We're bringing yeah. you streams from the future. <laughs> Netflix show, Russian Doll. Say hello, guys. Hello. Hey, guys. Before we say anything, I'm starting off the show by saying spoilers. There are so many spoilers, so keep that in mind if you haven't seen Russian Doll. With that said, Russian Doll follows a woman named Nadia on her adventures as a guest of honor at her birthday party. She dies repeatedly, always restarting at the same moment of her party as she tries to figure out what's happening to her. The series has been received really well by critics, and on Rotten Tomatoes, a, a, a site that we all love and, and enjoy, uh, has... <laughs> <laughs> who are you who are you lying for <laughs> where's my portion of that check I, to, to tell you the truth the only reason why i watched it is because i i like natasha uh she's in uh orange is the new black she's kind of like my favorite character uh, and that's the only reason why i i watched the series to begin with but i mean being that the series is just basically Groundhog's Day, the series, I personally thought it wouldn't be all that good because I feel like that kind of story would eventually wear thin. But the way they did it was, uh, I guess, pretty impressive. I was going to say, there's a bit more existential horror than your average Groundhog's Day. Yeah, but when one. you see the preview, but when you see the trailer, you're just like, oh, well, all right, she's going to keep starting off on that point over and over again. You're right. just going to find funny ways of dying. But when you actually watch it, you're just kind of like, oh, wow, this is a little bit deeper than I thought. <laughs> so I guess my question to you guys is, uh, how did the series make you feel? Or I guess, how did you feel about the series? I'll start with you, Andy. Um, I enjoyed it overall. I like anything that can sort of look at, answer that question about like the human condition and our own mortality and still like try to make it at least somewhat comical because I hate it when stuff gets, like, too serious about its own message. Right. Um, so, all in all, good series. How about you, CJ? Uh, it was a... I don't want to say a hard watch. It was a watch. And, you didn't like it? Um, you know how, like, you like a show, but you feel like the wrong actor's in it? Are you talking about the main character? Yeah, I'm just not... First of all, I'm not a huge fan of Natasha Leone. Um... <laughs> Kevin's like, end this call right now. <laughs> I know Kevin just went on this whole spiel on how, you know, he likes her work and da-da-da. And I felt really bad as you were saying it. Like, oh, I'm about to tell him how I don't like her work. But it's not so much that I don't like her work. I think she's like, <laughs> oh, Reginald, I disagree. I kind of feel like she plays the same role in everything I could have done without her in this. She made the series. She She's the reason why you watch it. I mean... <laughs> So, so that means you didn't so, like it at all. You didn't like anything that you saw. No, I, I like the show. I just don't like her in the show. I feel the like main so, character. I feel like someone else could have played the main character. Who who would you have put in that spot instead of her? I don't know. Anyone? You should, Anyone? Have, you should have had an answer prepared if you're going to bring up these like, controversial <laughs> no, 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 no. topics. It, 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 it's, it's not even controversial. I think with her, you know what? If she was going to be in the show, I would have liked to see her have a different range of acting in the show. <laughs> it really felt like they just took her character from Orange is the New Black and inserted her in the show. I really thought that the words out of your mouth were going to be, if they were going to have her in the show, I would have liked if she had just had, like, less so lines wait. or something. So wait, do you not like her in Orange is the New Black? No, it's not that I don't like her in Orange is the New Black. It's just that I've seen that role. I've seen you, her. You know, there are, there are a lot of actors that play the same role over and over again. Not yeah. to defend her. But I don't like her. Because I have. I don't, I don't like yeah. them. No, either. I mean, type, let's be real. Typecasting is a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and I don't like typecasting anywhere. I want to see range. I, I want to see range from different actors and actresses. It's so like, actors aren't allowed to, you know, do their quip and other stuff all the time. I understand she does the whole sarcastic, self-hating Jew type thing. Or not self-hating, but more of like a, a, a what was it? She compared herself in the series to Andrew Dice Clay, and I feel like she was spot on. <laughs> so that's exactly who she reminds me of. And that's just annoyed me even further. <laughs> I don't CJ, like CJ, Dice no. Clay. CJ, that's a technique called lampshading. You're supposed to accept it after she brings it up. Not at all. I accepted <laughs> none of it. Like, the show had a good concept, 
the acting was good. Like, she wasn't terrible in the show. I just wish they would have given her more range. Like, there were some episodes where I felt like, like, different scenes where when the scene where she froze to death with the homeless guy, like, that gave her range as a cat, as an actress. You know what I mean? I would have wanted to when see... When she fell asleep and froze no, to no, death. No, no, no. The whole that, scene. That was the no, no, best five that minutes whole, of acting that, I've ever seen. That whole scene gave her range because she wasn't like the sarcastic self-hating Jew I feel really bad saying that especially since I'm not she had, she had like a legitimate human connection with another person yes and you don't really see that from her in anything but I do love when she comes back to and the water's going she's like fuck froze to death <laughs> <laughs> but she had moments in the show where you could see different ranges of her acting, and I just felt like the show could have been written better for her, rather than insert character we've already seen here. So, I'm gonna give a little dissenting opinion here, CJ. I think if she isn't that type of character, she doesn't break through to whatever the guy's name is. I can't remember. Yeah, I uh, hated I... him. Alan? So, was it Alan? I hated That's Alan. what it was. Was it Alan? Yeah, I, I, I hated You know, I we'll go with Alan. Alan if his name's not Alan. We'll all feel stupid, but let's That's all. Okay. I'll put it. I'll put it up in the video. It'll just pop up, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> or real name. I hated um, Alan you, so much in the show. I why did you hate I Alan? Think you're supposed to. He's a control freak. Yeah, but I, I guess he really wasn't a main character. He, I still see him as a supporting, but I, I guess. Well, no, but my point is, is like, he, the character, is such a control freak that he was in a situation where he was happy about having to relive his own death over and over and over again. You're not really supposed to agree with that viewpoint. Until Natasha Leone, like, guilted him. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, is, is if her character isn't that brash and in your face, he probably doesn't go, like, oh, yeah, maybe it, maybe it's not okay for me to keep getting, like, told that cheated on by my girlfriend of nine years or, you know, whatever. Or counterpoint. They could have just wrote a better series for Natasha Leanne altogether. So, wait, wait, wait. So, did you not like the Groundhog's Day concept, or did you just not like her in that part? I didn't like her in that part. I feel like the... Uh... <laughs> I was waiting for a... Also, Groundhog's Day sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like it was there, CJ. I feel indifferent <laughs> Let me down. Me. I, I feel indifferent towards Groundhog's Day, honestly. I could do without it. Like, and I, That's kind of how I feel about Russian Doll. I could... I could do without it. That is crazy to me. Okay, well, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. Uh, I, I, I feel think like I the may old have man a after ba after at the end of Babe or after the movie or after the TV series, I just said that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> and I went about my day. Well, moving on to my next no, no, question, Kevin, then. How did you feel about the series? I, I, did, I love the series. And the own. This was my favorite series that I saw. Yeah, I won't say it was only, my favorite series. The I like the way the story was told. Okay, I like I like how she kept going back over and over again. And it was kind of comical seeing each way that she died. And the fact that she wouldn't take the stairs at some point because she, she kept PTSD dying. She about the stairs after a while. <laughs> no, the like, only reason I was asking stairs. was because when you initially brought up the question, all you did talk about was Natasha Leone. So. Yeah. I also said that when I saw the preview, like I said earlier, I didn't think Groundhog the Groundhog's Day premise would be all that good for a series, maybe a movie, yeah. but not for eight episodes. But they did a very good job of rearranging things and adding in Alan to, mm -hmm. to relive that with you just kind of brought more interest to the series for me where I'm just like, oh, wait, the plot thickens now. And the fact that they both die at the same time, so one could just yeah. be sitting there doing nothing. And it's like, oh, I died of an asthma attack. I didn't even know I had asthma. Type. exactly and i'm like yeah. oh, all right that's kind of i also like, like the ended. the subtle changes with like uh how you could see the fruit rotting and stuff like that yeah. throughout certain episodes well, that was which, cool yeah which makes the groundhog's day story more i feel like makes yeah. it more interesting as it goes on so i'm like all well, right it, what it does is it, it it's it forces the clock forward on them like going oh crap yeah we need to get serious about figuring out what's causing this because otherwise you run into a Groundhog's Day thing where it's like, eh, we'll just get to it when we get to it. You know, I didn't hate the story aspect. I just wish it was a different actress than Natasha Leone. Or if it had to be her, they would have changed the tone a little bit of the series just so I could see some different range from her as an actress. Because I know she's a good actress. I don't think she's a bad actress. From where she was in American Pie to what she's doing now, I feel like I've seen the same movie over and over again. I don't remember her in American Pie. Well, uh, I do remember her in American Pie. I just don't remember the her character. character in American Pie. Hmm. 
All right. Well, moving on to my second question. Do you think that this could be a second season? Do you think there could be a second season to this? Do you think there should be a second season to this, I guess? There could if Netflix throws money at somebody. There should not, though. Okay. I think the series ended at a great point. I don't want to see the the split adventures of parallel dimension characters that aren't tangentially connected anymore because otherwise you have to break the whole premise of how the show ended or introduce a new character for it to happen with again and i feel like you're just gonna end up running the same tropes and stuff like that and it just wouldn't be entertaining so i don't want to see a second season of it how about you cj um for fear of having to do another episode about it i do not want a (laughs) second season of it No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you were okay. you, you no, like no, real cool. lukewarm Whatever. about you were real lukewarm about your stances on it, but you really let your colors show on no, this I, one. <laughs> I don't feel like this show needs a second season, and I feel like if they do do a second season, it'd be like watching Bird Box Two. Like it just doesn't need to have Bird Box Two. Like, yeah, well, it's happening. I mean, Bird Box 2, not... not, not Bird Box not 2 British is happening. Off. The guy's going to write a sequel to Bird Box 2. I think it's a book, though. It's going to be a book. But I hope it stays that way. I was on the wall about how the, the whole series ended because it was just kind of... They saved each other, and then they're at the parade, and then it ends. And I'm just yeah. kind of like, okay, well... Where's my epilogue? I think that's... I, I'm not sure if it should have a second season... I would be okay if they did have a second season, but I feel like the way it ended, I, I I guess I wanted 15 more minutes of just going, all right, let's just see what the next day looks like or, or what they're going from there. And I understand that they already overcame whatever they had to overcome in order for, for them to get to that point where they had to help each other and all that crap. But yeah, for them to break the, the loops. And to me, it just kind of felt like as soon as they broke the loop, it was like, oh, we're in this parade, the end. And I just kind of felt, I don't know, unfulfilled, <laughs> I guess. I'm like, well, I guess they, they did what they had to do, but I don't know. Maybe I just wanted more Natasha. I don't know. <laughs> so do we have any uh, any final words on Russian Doll? I'll start with you, Andy. Um, Overall, I thought it was pretty good. Um, like I said, I really don't want to see a second season of it. I think the way it ended was fine. And yeah, I, en- I enjoyed it. It was nice and short. It didn't run too long. And I don't feel like there was too much uh, wasted time in any of the episodes. So how about you, CJ? Um, I feel like it's eight episodes at a half hour piece. So you can watch it and not make a day of it. So that's cool. But yeah, it's on Netflix. <laughs> Watch all right, all right. Okay, fine, fine. All I'm going to say is the series surprised me. I didn't think it was going to be good, and it was good, and I liked it. It was so, okay. So, with that said, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is CJ, Andy, and Kevin signing off. Watch more TV and play all the video games. <laughs>